I'm not ashamed. What was the ransom money required when Moses took the census of Israel? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse by verse study of the book of Exodus on walking through the Bible. The glory of his cross. If you have a Bible with you, you can turn to Exodus 30. We're going to be reading from verses 11 to 16. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So, Exodus 30, beginning at verse 11. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, When you take the census of the children of Israel for their number, then every man shall give a ransom for himself to the Lord when you number them, that there may be no plague among them when you number them. This is what every one among those who are numbered shall give, half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty geras. The half shekel shall be an offering to the Lord. Everyone included among those who are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering to the Lord. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel when you give an offering to the Lord to make atonement for yourselves. And you shall take the atonement money of the children of Israel, and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord to make atonement for yourselves. In this chapter, we still have Moses on Mount Sinai receiving instructions from the Lord. He has received instructions on how to build the Ark of the Covenant, including the mercy seat, instructions on how to build the table for the showbread, the golden lampstand, and the altar of burnt offering. He received instructions on how to build the tabernacle and the court of the tabernacle, including where to place the holy items. The tabernacle itself would be divided into two parts by a veil, the holy place in front of the veil, where the golden lampstand and the table of the showbread would be, and the most holy place behind the veil, where the Ark of the Covenant and the mercy seat would be. The most holy place we will find will only be entered into on one day a year, and even then, only by the high priest. Moses also received instructions on what the priestly garments would look like, how to consecrate the priests, and the daily sacrifices that were to be offered. And then in our last episode, we had Moses receiving instructions for the altar of incense, which would be overlaid with gold, where Aaron would offer incense twice a day to the Lord. This altar would be placed before the veil in the holy place in the tabernacle. In today's reading, we again move away from the tabernacle itself to discuss something that would relate to the tabernacle, namely the ransom or atonement money for the people. This ransom money or atonement money was to be collected when the census of Israel was taken. The term ransom here can be misunderstood to mean that Israel was paying something to God for their sins, a ransom for sin of sorts. Paying money to God for sin is, of course, impossible, for no amount of earthly money could possibly remove sins. However, this ransom money would be a memorial, according to verse 16, that atonement needed to be made, a ransom that was eventually paid in the person of Jesus Christ, dying on the cross for the remission of sins. When the census of Israel was taken, every man above the age of 20 was required to pay half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary. That it was only men above 20 that paid meant that no women or children were expected to pay. This age of 20, we're going to find come up several times in the Old Testament, and seems to indicate when God views someone as an adult, along with the responsibilities that come with that. As for the amount, a half shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary with a shekel sanctuary equaling 20 geras, was the amount. There is much debate as to how much that is, but from my research, it seemed to be 12 grams or 0.4 ounces of gold. In 2019 money, this would be about 740 Canadian or 570 American dollars. Since everyone in terms of sin towards God was equal, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, there wasn't to be a difference in the amount that was to be paid by rich or poor. Everyone needed the same memorial that a ransom for sin needed to be paid, so the amount was to be equal. In reality, God did not exact too heavy a burden on them, so even the poor among them would have been able to pay without becoming destitute. The consequence for not paying this money would be that God would send a plague among them, showing us how seriously God took this command. The money collected was not to be used for a salary for the priests or to keep for a rainy day. It was to be used in the service of the tabernacle of meeting. We're going to see specifically what this money would be used for in chapter 38. 
With that, our time is up for today. Lord willing, we hope you'll join us in tomorrow's discussion of Exodus chapter 30, verses 17 to 21, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world.